This is Desert Rose and Zorro's litter. We have three boys, one girl, per, poor girl. We named these kittens after roses because it's Desert Rose. We thought that would be cute. So here we are with the three boys right here in the middle and the girl trying to take off and figure out what's going on elsewhere. I guess she has, wants nothing to do with the boys. Not surprised. All right, so we got a silver boy right here. He's a regular silver, but he's got beautifully dark, dark markings because he does carry a charcoal gene, which helps to make his markings darker. And then we got this charcoal brown here. Originally, I thought it might've been a charcoal silver at birth, but it's actually charcoal brown. You can see the difference because in the face, you can see that the part right here that should be white is actually a little bit brown. So it's a charcoal brown. Charcoal brown boy right here, his name is Black Magic, which yes, Black Magic is the name of a rose. And then the silver boy here is Incognito, named for another rose and a beautiful name for a kitten. I thought it worked really well. And then we got Ivory here, who's actually called Ivory Fashion, and that's the girl. And then we have this, the Lynx over here, which is Lightning. It's actually white lightning, which, you know, because links are white, I thought that worked really well too. So you can see the rosettes here are forming still. They will get darker and darker over time. I can see plenty of white. I do believe that these guys are silver links. Now the difference between a regular links and a silver links is not much because the background color in both cases are white, but the silver color is known as the inhibitor gene. It inhibits color. So it takes longer for the rosettes to pop on a silver lynx. And that's one of the reasons you could tell. Another reason you could tell is because if you go backwards like this, the base coat of all the hair is going to be white. And that's just a little trick us breeders use to figure out if you have a silver, which this guy looks like he does. So he looks like he's a silver lynx. Here's Ivory. Dad is silver, so if I do the same trick, does not look like a silver lynx. So again, you can't see much of a difference other than the fact that you can see more rosettes because again, the inhibitor genes inhibiting the color pattern, but it will come out, develop more over time. So you can see, I'm gonna have pictures, but you can see the rosettes. Here's dark. Magic. Again, if you go backwards, you can't see any white at the base of the hair, so a brown. But beautiful, love that contrast right in there. These rosettes will actually develop a little bit more brown over time. You can see his face. Hi, say hi. There you go. Oh, they love those shoulder rubs. They just go like this. Oh, so good. Love those shoulder. Oh, it just feels so good. I mean, who doesn't love a shoulder rub, right? You can see his other side here. Just going to show off. Again, we'll have some pictures. I like to see in person. Oh, woo, belly, belly turn, belly turn. All right, let's take a look. Incognito. Again, that nice white, white really makes that contrast pop. You can see the inside of the rosettes are already lightening up. So he's gonna have donut rosettes. You can see the rosettes breaking up down the back. Right here, boom, 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 boom. No rib bar, completely just rosettes. Here is rosettes. Rosettes are opening up right there. Um, this is usually where you see lines. You can see rosettes. I would say he is breeder quality. Definitely, definitely breeder quality. So again, same situation, opening up donut rosettes. These are all breaking up down the back, definitely broken up here. You can see rosettes forming right here on the shoulder, on the shoulder blades where you normally see like a, a butterfly pattern actually. And then again, no rib bar. So reader quality, silver boy right there. Love how dark his pattern is, it just really pops. I love that. So, 
so susceptible to those shoulder rubs. You want to get them to stay on your lap? Love you on the lap. Oh, I just do the shoulder rubs. Shoulder rubs, yeah. Oh, look at the head rubs too. Gotta get the head rubs in there. And the chin, the chin scratches, the chin scratches. All these guys. <laughs> Again, this thing is like all. Pop, pop. I love it when they play with each other's tail. Oh, look, look at that. <laughs> This is called the Cat Catcher by Go Cat Toys. They also do the bird, which when they're younger, they're not really great loving, but when they get older, it's like the best toy a cat can ever have, the bird. Ah, your claw is stuck in there. Ah. Let it go. There we go. Again, Ivory's sitting over here watching the action. All the brothers, the Bruiser brothers. She's like, I am too refined. I am a lady. <laughs> you always get that one kitten or more that loves to be on their belly. I'm sorry, on their back and show off that belly. And of course, who doesn't like those cute bellies with the little spots on it, huh? When the, and they, they like to do the bunny kicks. All right, Ivory's finally getting in on it, but she's attacking her brother. <laughs> she's like, wow, his back is turned. <laughs> you double cross, are you? I can't tell if they're fighting with the toy or fighting over the toy. I almost feel like it's one of those balls that hang like at, at recess playgrounds where you, you hit the ball and it swings, you know? And so it bounces tether around. Ball. Yeah, that's it. That's it. A tether ball. So... Ivory thinks that she's getting the upper hand here. And meanwhile, <laughs> Lightning is just like paying attention to just the tetherball. Oh no, the claw's stuck. <laughs> the claw's stuck. I know, every time I hear the word claw, I always think of the uh, Toy Story where it's like the claw, the claw, the claw knows who will come and who will stay. Ivory is like, normally I lose in this, but look at me. I am just killing it. Isn't that right, Ivory? You're just killing it. You're just killing it. <laughs> oh, she's attacking everybody. Not so much a lady anymore, are you? Cognito is trying to figure out what's going on in the. Normally, we have them in a special room just for them with all kinds of toys and cat trees and playground, really. Kitten playground. Safe. But uh, in my bedroom, here we are doing this video, and they're like, oh, what's going on? That's the trick, trying to get them not to be interested in exploring. I'll tell you. And get in your home, and they'll have that whole home mapped out in no time.
I could just watch this all day. <laughs> so, one last time, this right here is lightning, ivory, magic, incognito, and that is Desert Roses Litter. <laughs>